To autonomously drive TurtleBot, we will first start by SSHing into the TurtleBot, and this is the TurtleBot's IP address. Now that we are successfully into the TurtleBot, we will want to run Minimal Launch. The beeping you just heard means that everything is successfully loaded on the TurtleBot. Now we will want to open a new tab in Terminal. Again, we want to SSH into the TurtleBot. This time, we will want to run a command that will load the map we have created. My map lives in a temp folder and is named MyMap6. Make sure you load the YAML file, not the PNG. If you see Odom received, that means everything is good to go. Open a third tab, and this time on your workstation, not on the TurtleBot. We will want to run a command that loads Arviz. Once Arviz is up, we will be able to see our map. TurtleBot is not able to initialize itself, so therefore you need to first go to T 2D Pose Estimate up at the top. Once you have clicked on that, you will click where your TurtleBot is sitting on your map. My TurtleBot is sitting here, and now, once you click, there will be an arrow you can drag around. Drag the arrow to the direction TurtleBot is facing. You will now see TurtleBot move to where he is initialized. If you want to have him go somewhere on your map, you can click 2D Nav Goal at the top of the page. You can click anywhere on the map where he will go he will avoid obstacles in his way. If I want him to go over here, you can all, once you click, you can also tell him the direction you want TurtleBot to face upon completion. Now, he will see TurtleBot, saw where he wants to go, and will map a path. You will see that he is able to see any obstacles in his path along the way. Our turtle bot has now successfully reached.